I'll put the link for this rather than uploading the entire video so that I can make note of it since it's swept under the rug historic speech of Bush accepting Obama into the White House and look at what we now have become. I'll let a little bit of play, but I want to look at the comments. I like looking down the comments to show how times have changed. Now keep in mind what happened after a Biden won while you watch this. Laura and I will return home to Texas with treasured memories of our time here, with profound gratitude for the honor of serving this amazing country. It will be a stirring sight to watch President Obama, his wife Michelle, and their beautiful girls step through the doors of the White House. I know millions of Americans will be overcome with pride at this inspiring moment that so many have waited so long. I know Senator Obama's beloved mother and grandparents would have been thrilled to watch the child they raised ascend the steps of the Capitol and take his oath to uphold the Constitution of the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Last night I extended an invitation uh, to the President-elect and Mrs. Obama to come to the White House. And Laura and I are looking forward to welcoming them as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. And look at what we became in just a few years. Remember, this guy was pointed out, oh, his dumb speeches, he's, he's so dumb. And now we look back and go, he wasn't so bad after all. I never did think he was that bad, but look at the comments. People used to make fun of the speeches Bush made. He sounds like a damn poet compared to Trump. 46,000 likes. Next, this is how presidents should be talking to the nation. Next. I never thought I'd listen to a, a, a W. Bush speech and feel so refreshed by his eloquence. And this guy says, 12 years later, what we get is, I won this election by a lot, and refuses to even acknowledge it, go to the White House, the inauguration, or nothing like a two-year-old. This one's... Like the first sentence he said, Obama won. He even said his victory was impressive. People would, would have called the president weak for making this submission, but it's a sign of strength. George W. Bush sounded like the most reasonable man ever. Oh, how times have changed. No matter what political side you're on, that's a class act speech. It shows a lot of respect, unlike today. This, below, this is what a president should be, respect for the opposition. Next, I mean, this is 100%. 100%. This is years after uh, Bush lost and he was ridiculed. Ridiculed as some kind of a moron. And now we wish we could have him back. Next, I really miss the old style politics when it comes to politeness. Even though I'm not an American, U.S. politics will reflect all over the world. Exactly. This guy, I would never have thought in 08 that I'd look back on Bush and think, well, he wasn't so bad after all. Another one, you can hate him or like him, at least he acted like a president. Another one, this, these are 100%. I'm not picking out comments. And this guy was once called the worst president in modern history. How times have changed. Seeing this is actually so refreshing. Back when both parties actually respected each other and everyone. I mean, this is 100%. 100%. What an eloquent speech. Completely swept under the rug at this time when it should be brought to the fore. Brought to the fore.